Hi YouTube, Timothy Unker here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install just PHP on your Windows computer. This isn't uh, installing it through XAMPP. This is just installing PHP. Okay, so let's open up a browser and let's just search for PHP. And the first thing that will come up is php.net. So we're going to click on that. And we'll see that PHP 8.3.0 is released. Um, I see this link here for downloads for Windows. So windows.php.net forward slash download. So I'm going to click on that. And for PHP 8.3, I want to go to the thread safe version for a 64 bit. I have a 64 bit computer. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to download the zip file here. Okay, once it's downloaded, we'll go to the downloads folder here and we have this folder downloaded. Uh, I'm going to extract all and I'm not going to check to show extract the files when complete because they'll show up right here. So I'm going to click extract. Okay, so now that those are extracted, if we look in this folder, we've got all this PHP stuff. In my downloads, I'm going to right click and just um, click show more options. I'm going to click rename. You don't have to do this um, because we're going to copy this path in a moment, but I like it a little shorter. So I'm going to rename it PHP 8.3.0. I'm going to then copy it and I'm going to go to this PC, go to here and go to my program files and I'm going to paste it in and you're going to have to give administrator uh, permission. So I'm going to click continue. There we go. It's pasted in. You can see it down here. I'm going to right click and click copy as path. Okay. And then I can close this out. And what I'm going to type in here in my search is environment uh, variables. And you'll see this come up, edit the system environment variables. I'll click open. And this is going to be on the advanced tab. So go down here to environment variables. And under system variables, I'm going to click on path and then edit and then new. And I'm going to paste in that path I copied. I'm going to take the quotes away. So there will be a double quotes before and after when you do this. I'll click OK and then OK and then OK. All right. So now to make sure that PHP was installed properly, I'll uh, type CMD. Click open. So this will open the command prompt and I'll type PHP hyphen V, hit enter. And you'll see we have PHP 8.3.0 installed. So PHP is installed. Uh, as a bonus, I'll show you how to start up a PHP server that comes with a PHP. Um, so what I'm going to do is change directories into my desktop here and let's make a directory. Let's do mkdir. DIR PHP and we'll see date into PHP and then to start a local development server um, what we do is PHP s and then local host and then the port you want it to be on so let's say 4000 hit enter and you'll see that the server has started so if in the PHP folder I have a file index.php if I go to localhost 4000 in my browser um, then whatever is on index.php will show up, including the PHP rendered code. Uh, to stop the development server, we're just going to type control C and that'll stop it. Okay, that's pretty much it to installing PHP and running a PHP server on your Windows machine. Hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you.